Hi everybody. Hi there. Well, this uh, travel video is about truth or consequences, and uh, it was really a great place to visit. It, it was it's... a very colorful town, very open, warm and friendly, uh, a really cool town. We really enjoyed it there. It, it was, and the campground was great too. It, yes. It, it was beautiful, and uh, the town itself, uh, very colorful, uh, neat little shops, things like that. Of course, this was uh, prior to COVID-19, and uh, but we just love it there. And it's, it's, they got a spaceport there for uh, these launches that they're doing, uh, independent launches from federal uh, NASA programs. And that was fascinating too. People so friendly when uh, we were, Sandy and I were gonna take turns going through the museum, um, they, because we had General and I was standing outside they recognized the problem. They invited General into the museum. And gave him a biscuit. <laughs> yeah, and gave him dog treats. And uh, and then gave us other tips about where to go and what to take in. Took on in a little uh, shoot em out thing, which... A little play. Yeah, yeah which, which was fun. Uh, we didn't bring General because of the noise of the guns, but because uh, he's gun shy with, with gun noises. But anyway, we hope you enjoy this. Uh, it's just another example of our beautiful country and the beautiful people in it. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please consider doing so. We'd love to hear your comments, both good and bad. Uh, we love suggestions. And if you haven't checked out our other videos, we have everything from travel videos to uh, maintenances. And we always share the goofy mistakes we've made. Uh, a little embarrassing for us, but hopefully if it saves you all any troubles uh, down the road, it was worth it to us. So we hope you enjoy this one. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Sandy. And I'm Ed. And this is General, our totally awesome water dog. We used to live on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, but one day we found both of ourselves unemployed. So we decided to take a chance. We sold everything, bought a trailer, and left to explore America. We're learning as we go along, but we still make mistakes. But we get a lot of things right too. So come join us as we learn to RV full time, explore America, and share in our exciting journey of discovery. Our, our next, next adventure, adventure is just over the hill. hill. On our travel day, we started seeing desert landscapes that we had never seen before, and this was really exciting and one of the things that we were so looking forward to. We drove right through downtown El Paso, Texas, and that was really interesting to be able to look out the window and see Mexico and the border is so close. We also started seeing pecan groves and quite a few of them and that was surprising. It's not really something that I would have figured they would grow in this area so that was cool. Got a little interesting thing going on here. The highway is blocked off. And it says, U.S. Border Patrol, all vehicles must exit for inspection. So we're getting ready to exit for our inspection. Um, we're just a little bit north of Las Cruces, New Mexico. Very strange. We pulled up to the gate and stopped. And the guy said, thank you, sir. Have a good day. <laughs> Well, and now we're getting back on the road again. Well, we're, right, we're very close to the Mexican border, and we're probably looking for, uh, probably looking for, you know, human trafficking, that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, I know profiling may be all that great to do, but I'm sure that's what the guy did. He looked at me and you and said, that is strange. <laughs> Very weird. We've never been through anything like that before.
our campsite was at Caballo Lake State Park. And uh, we did do a, a separate campground review video about this if you'd like to see that. But um, the lake and the mountains were absolutely beautiful and they had a bunch of cactus in the landscaping. So it was so awesome to, to see these cactuses in person that we had never seen before. Shortly after we got set up, I ran into town to uh, the local Walmart to shop for our Thanksgiving dinner because Thanksgiving was only two days after we arrived. And I was really surprised to see these covered parking lots. That was a totally awesome thing for Walmart to do for their customers to help alleviate the heat on the vehicles. That was pretty cool. And we did uh, make a pretty awesome Thanksgiving dinner in our little tiny house. It came out great. This is the Rio Grande River. It's not really this wide because it's dammed up where we're at. But anyway, happy Thanksgiving. My dogs take himself for a walk. Took the dog out for a walk. He sensed a skunk lurched off into the brush and got sprayed. Okay, so now we got to figure out how to get this guy cleaned up. And we are like 30 minutes to the closest town, and it is now oh, 11 o'clock. Sandy has to run into Walmart, which is to get tomato juice and something else that she thinks will work. It's 34 degrees, and uh, General and I are hanging outside the trailer, wishing we could go inside, but, well, alas, that's not happening until someone gets a special bath. Not a happy camper. So I ended up using a combination of hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and ivory dish soap um, to get rid of the skunk smell, and it worked really good. So I highly recommend that. Um, we were all pretty well chilled by the time we got done with his bath. We did have to bathe him twice. Um, he got it really bad right in the side of the head. Um, so he curled up with his blankie and we curled up with our blankies and we, we got to bed late that night. After a few days of relaxing, we have been traveling like crazy before we got here. Um, we did finally go into the town of Tooth of Consequences to explore, and it is such a cute little town. The spaceport exhibit at the visitor center really was pretty interesting. And um, they do give tours at the spaceport, um, but it was very expensive and way out of our budget. <laughs> Here's some scenes from the little play that we took in um, featuring the cast of Tombstone with Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday and all the other folks that go along with that. It was pretty cute. 
The town of Tutha Consequences actually used to be called Hot Springs before they changed their name. And uh, they have a long history of hot springs in the area. And they're very open and accepting and welcoming of any kind of natural healing arts. Um, so if you're into natural healing, they've got pretty much anything you could ask for in this town. Some of the hot springs are actually in uh, the little hotels, and they're only for hotel guests. Um, some of the ho hotels actually have hot springs baths inside the rooms. Um, but others are open to the public, and their fees are actually very reasonable. We've seen them for as low as uh, 3 or $4 per bath. They have a really beautiful Catholic church here in Truth or Consequences. It was just amazingly beautiful. We had lunch at La Cocina restaurant um, for some Mexican food or Tex-Mex. And oh my goodness, these plates were huge. I'm sure the picture doesn't do this justice. Um, these plates were probably about 15 inches wide, just huge. Um, this platter actually costed $15 each, um, but it lasted us like four days. <laughs> They have a really awesome dog park in town. General just loved this place. Of course, we visited the Geronimo, Geronimo Springs Museum, and this place was absolutely huge and had a ton of exhibits on their local history. They have a huge bowl collection, um, and some of these bowls date back to A.D. 600 or 700. Just amazing to see um, the work that was put into these back in that time period. And as if arrowheads weren't works of art in and of themselves, um, they made these collections of arrowheads into artwork pieces. And that was just fantastic. So how did the town of Truth or Consequences get its name? Ralph Edwards, who hosted the game show Truth or Consequences on TV um, in 1949, was looking for a way to celebrate the show's 10th anniversary. So they sent out word looking for a town or a city that was willing to change its name to, to the name of the show. And uh, Hot Springs, New Mexico was chosen for this. There was a vote a special election by the town, um, which was passed by like 80% of the town's people. Um, so the town of Hot Springs, New Mexico became truth or consequences. And Ralph Edwards flew in with his wife and did the next broadcast of the truth or consequences TV show in the town of truth or consequences. And they got a ton of nationwide publicity. Now, Truth or Consequences has a fiesta event that they hold the first week of May every year to celebrate uh, the change of the town's name. And Ralph Edwards uh, came back every year to attend that event for many, many years. And here you'll see some of the costumes that were created for the Fiesta events. Uh, they got fancier and fancier every year, and they do have a pageant that go, goes along with this Fiesta.
the museum also has this awesome collection of Western paintings. These were just amazing. And they have some pretty awesome looking saddles as well. And last but not least, we felt that we had to see the Rio Grande River since we were so close to it. And it's just one of those things. It's such a popular thing. Um, we didn't want to leave without saying that we've, we've seen it. Um, so there is another campground uh, below the dam uh, near our campground where you can see the Rio Grande River flowing by. And that was pretty awesome. <music> 